What's up, love bugs? I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time. Wanted to show you what Picasso art project working on. You guys know I love to slay my hair once a day, every day. It gives me a vibe. And today I'm working with my first wigs to bring you guys this beautiful 10 inch bob. It's giving boss's wife or the boss, the head of the board meeting, is giving professional lawyer. It's giving everything and more and I'm definitely feeling it. And the beauty in this one is that we didn't have to cut it ourselves. The wig also fits glueless so we don't have to bond it down at all and you'll see like how that works out. So I'm not going to hold you guys. Let's go ahead and jump right into the video. But before we do, make sure you subscribe. I'll wait. Now let's get into it. Jumping right into it, this one comes courtesy of My First Wigs, and this is the packaging. Here's a look at the inside construction of the cap. What's cool about this one is it's a 10 inch side part bob, but you can part it any way you want. It does come with this adjustable straps that has their logo inside. Such great attention to detail. Now here I put the wig on my mannequin head and I did put it on sideways, but just look at how beautiful the hairline is straight out of the box. As you guys can see, the hair was kind of uh, sideways right here because I had the wig on the wig head sideways. So here we've adjusted it and it's perfectly symmetrical. I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out the parting and make sure I use all six inches of parting space going backwards. I'm going to use my wax stick paired with my electric hot comb to go in and just stamp out that parting and make it super, super flat, super sleek, super neat, you know, all of the supers. <laughs> this one here is a silky straight texture. It's Malaysian origin. And as I mentioned, this is a lace front wig with 13 by six dimensions. Real Swiss lace was used in the process of making the lace, which makes it super undetectable, and you'll see that as we put the wig on. Also, we will be doing a semi glueless install, and you'll see what I mean in just a moment. But for now, I'm just taking my baby list flat iron and just going in and bumping the ends. Although it came silky straight, as you guys can see, it's a little bit frayed from shipping and handling. So you just want to go in and smooth it out. Be sure to use your heat protectant. I'll have my favorite link in the description box. And the reason I'm using a rat tail comb to chase is this gives more of a silky straight, super, super straight press. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like after we are done. That cut is on point. Although we use product, it is full of movement, stiff wear. Here I'm going in on the hairline. Don't ever forget to go in on the hairline. It makes it super, super sleek when you go ahead and press out the hairline. Again, although the hair is straight, you want to make it super fleeky and sleek. Now it's time to do the real work. We did the prep on the mannequin head, but of course we're going to install her. And this is what she looks like on... This one fit like a glove, which made me so happy. It also made me happy to not have to tweeze anything out. And again, the cut is super beautiful. Although it is a 10 inch uh, bob, it does have kind of a slight uh, layer to it, like an asymmetrical cut to it. So it's not just blunt straight across, which I love on me. It just gives rich girl vibes. Let's go in and cut off the excess lace. And as you guys can see, the wig, once you cut the lace off, does not like fit too loose. You can literally wear it without bonding the wig down. The only difference is if you want to wear it without bonding it down, you must cut off the ear tabs or kind of like tuck them behind your ear. Here you're going to see I did lightly go in um, at the top with my glueless adhesive, but mainly concentrating on the ear tabs because that is what I want to bond down. The top and the center does not need to be bonded down because as you guys can see, it fits flat. So that's exactly what I did. I bonded down the ears on one side and then the opposite side. Again, I did go up a little bit just, you know, to make it super melted, but I did not bond down the top center because there was no need. Now I'm going to go in and just play with the sideburns. I did spray a little bit of my Sebastian Shapers for a little bit of hole, trying to guide my comb to kind of just stamp out the basically the shape of the sideburns. And then I went in with my mousse from Bedeck Beauty and kind of just finished it up. And as you guys can see, the sideburns are super flat and like 
conform to my face, which I kind of like. It gives a great vibe and it pairs perfectly with this bob. If you don't like baby hair with your bobs or your wigs in general, just skip this step. This was just something that I added on my own. Here I was deciding if I wanted to do more sideburns or not, so I just went ahead and used the shapers to stamp out like baby hair. And I really liked it, so I went ahead and kept it without cutting it down short. You can do this as a hack to not really cut your lace if, or cut the hair on your wig if you don't want to cut it for baby hair. Or again, you can just leave it as is. The options are endless. Now to set it off, let's add some concealer to the parting and some powder to the lace. Okay, love bugs. I am in love with what we came up with today. Simple, blunt cut bob always wins it's always elegant and classy i did kind of give it my little ratchet style with a little bit of swoop here it's baby hair but i didn't quite commit because i didn't cut it short so of course i can just you know um take my mousse or my wax or anything for that matter and just kind of send it back i kind of think i am either gonna cut it and make it better or just send it back because it's kind of like i tried to do safe baby hair and it kind of is just not giving what it needs to be give i mean it like looks good in my mirror but in the camera it's just not popping or giving you know it's not giving the vibes but we are rocking with my first wig today and you guys already know they already gave me a couple of stuff so first of all this is the bag uh oh the bag that the wig came in and it's like a, pure, a pretty little reusable like sleeve if you will love these always keep these for my wigs because it helps me to be able to store them especially if you don't want to keep the box or for travel or what have you there is a pack of wig caps that just hit the ground and then there's also this cute little pouch that is reusable i show you this in every video and i love the fact that you're able to get this with your wig because it definitely is like a little quick kit it includes a rat tail comb that has their website on it, their logo on it, and then two of these duck bell clips, which you guys seen in the video. I use similar ones to pull the hair back. Here are my cute little wig caps. And you guys seen I didn't have to bond it down in the front. I kind of just did the ear tabs to um, keep them and do the sideburns. I kind of snatch. I feel like when you do a glueless wig install, it always always is a win never complain with a glueless install especially when it lays super flat and the hairline is amazing as this one is i did bump it a little bit tighter um under so that it can you know give the the good cut and it can just fall naturally throughout you know time but yeah this one is a low easy maintenance the only con with a bob this short is obviously the fact that you won't be able to put it in a ponytail you would have to t literally just you know throw a bonnet on wrap it up or something like that if you are like going to work out you just wear it down and just secure the edges so of course i'm going to go ahead and have it linked in the description box for you guys and if you missed the details i'll have all that listed in the description box as well you guys know i got your back thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.